If you would like to win one of these Tapu Lele shown here, all I'm gonna get you to do, guys, is click like, subscribe if you already have it, and comment below Lele giveaway. We'll also be giving away this Lycan Rock Rainbow Rare. So yeah, uh, comment, like, sub to get into the giveaway. What is up, guys? Sleepy Ring here, and today we are playing another game on Pokemon Online. Uh, I am, I've been having a lot of luck with this, uh, the Glezapod deck, so, uh, hopefully we can get some more wins in, you know, some notches on the, uh, the pedestal sort of thing. We've got, uh, the Wimpod and the Zorua. Lele is good to have out in the open. We will get that Wimpod out there. Uh, okay. Yeah. Cool. So, I've been having a lot of luck with this deck. I want to build it physically. Um, uh, since I've already got the Zoroarks, I do like how the Glossopod works. Alright, so we're playing against the um, Lucario with the Riolu, and I assume a champ from Burning Shadows, maybe? I'm not too sure. Who knows what's going to be in this. So we will instantly put down that. We'll put down this, and we'll get out a Bridget, because Lele for Bridget just rolls off of the tongue. We've got this thick... Uh, I can't show the card yet. <laughs> Uh, we've got uh, this thick school teacher uh, about to give us some uh, Pokemon cards. Speaking of thick, I pulled a full art wick again today, so now we have. Nah, I'll get out uh, the Coco. Coco is a lot of fun to play with. Uh, hmm. I guess we will get rid of these two, and we'll start getting a Zoroark set up for next turn because you want to sort of get the, you know, the Zoroark set up. And we will pass. Cool. So, um, yeah. So it looks like that he is playing what I was thinking. It's the Lucario and all that. Um, there's the Machoke. I'm not sure what he's doing with this. Maybe he's running the Machamp from Evolutions. Or maybe it's the one from... Well, that's the Generations one. So I'm not sure what he's doing here. That did nothing at all, which is fine. I love when the plans never go to how they want. This is, this is a sort of weird position here, because we want to get a DCE in, uh, so I will have to trade that. Um, I will use Puzzles of Time. Um, hmm. Alright, we will do this. We I can show you how um, uh, Mallow works, which is a lot of fun. This card is great. So Mallow will trade... Uh, it, Zorak trade for the Cynthia. All right, Mallow goes away. Cool. You evolve that into Wimpod. You use the Mallow. You can start setting up some other things like DCEs. You can go out and get DCEs for next turn because I just realized I wasted that because I used that Zoroark already. So next turn, we will be able to uh, get the, you know, the DCEs in so we can start doing some of these bigger attacks. So just for now, we are doing the 30 because I couldn't get anything else out. Uh, they are attaching a Fighting Fury Belt to Regirock for some reason. Okay, so there's just... Uh, what the fuck was that? Oh, that's right, because of Regirock. Duh. Uh, this sucks. We're down to not many pro like not many cards. I guess we're just going to have to trade this. And I hope to God we get a Cynthia or something. All right, we'll just have to do that. Uh, we'll trade the Ultra Ball. We're, we're using up a lot more DCs than I'd normally like to. Up. Uh, Never mind, he conceded. Um, oh, well, that's uh, that's good for me, I guess. I will do a quick intermission. Oh, we might open up some packs. I might show you some stuff. And then we'll get straight back into another game. Because I don't want to leave you guys on just a three-minute episode. I pulled this the other day, guys. Look at that. That is amazing. So we've got, the f we've got it physically, and now we've got the other one. So wait, no, we've got the, the Sol Galio. Uh, so we will open up, uh, we'll go, we'll open up four Ultra Prism packs, and then we will get straight back into another game, guys, because otherwise it would have been a three minute video, and you guys probably don't want to watch a three minute video. Uh, we got a Dramba Hollow. I'm just going to quickly go through these packs because this is not the, you know, the actual, uh, episode. We're not opening packs here. We're meant to be playing some games. We got a Heatran Hollow Rare. So that's two hollows. Wow, okay. Uh, let's see what this one has got in store for us. We've got a Magneton Reverse, great for Magnazone, and a Hippowdon Regular Air. Last pack to go. 
I'm not too fussed if we don't pull anything because we are not really here. Oh, we got a Shinx, that's cute. I've never seen, I think I've, obviously I've seen the artwork. I've pulled it 10 times, but I've just never really looked at it properly. And, and Alolan Sand Slash Regular Rare, so that's okay. Uh, the Turtwig's cool. Anyway, we will get back straight into another game here, guys. And let's see if, for some reason, Hooper is spelled wrong on that deck. Oh, we are straight into a game. Rip Twip. Okay, Rip Twip. Let's see what you've got for me. Uh, we are going to flip the heads because heads always works. Even when it doesn't, it always works. It just works. Uh, so we've got, we've got a bit of a nice setup here. We've got the Sycamore, we've got a Bridget. We will get these Zoroas out. Uh, sorry, not the Zoroas, but there is one Zoroa. And we've got the Wimpod. Those are great basics to start off with. You don't really want to lay lay in your hand first turn. Uh, alrighty, we will get out that Bridget. We will start to get our bench nice and loaded. We'll put down a Coco because I love playing around with Coco. Uh, Coco's a lot of fun to use. And, hmm. Yep, we will put that there. And we will just hit done. So next turn, hopefully, we either land a... Zoroark, or we can use that end to get a Zoroark, so we can start getting some of these Zoroark set up. This could be a quick game as well, because this Corkscrew Punch will not do anything. Uh, they are using uh, Pokemon Fan Club, which makes a lot of sense, since Bridget will be rotating soon in uh, September. Uh, I'm going to be sad to see her go, but we've got this card to take her place. Um, which could be, which could either work or not work, but... You know, Lele for Bridget, it really rolls off the tongue, but Lele for Pokemon Fan Club, mm, not so much. But we'll just have to see what happens come September. Maybe they won't rotate anything. They probably will rotate it. Uh, I think that they'll rotate uh, Breakthrough, Breakpoint, Fates Collide, and Steam Siege. So no more Greninja for people who hate Greninja. That will do nothing because I've got a resistance. There we go. We've got the... Uh, all that set up so we will get out the Zoroark and then quickly use that N hopefully to get another Zoroark or a DC or something ah oh, just evolve the wrong one hopefully though we can get an, uh, a DC and a Zoroark with that N we do not but we've still got the trade we can do which is a-okay with me uh, so we've got these two set up now we will get rid of these because no one wants pesky energy around the board so, we are going to trade. What are we going to trade? We don't really need the Bridget anymore. No one uses Bridget after the first turn. We are... We. What do we have? Alright, we'll, we'll use uh, this. I guess we'll get some energy in. Alright. Looks like we are not doing much this turn since I don't have a DCE. Uh, I guess I could just always go with another... Um, well, I've wasted that, uh, I've wasted that as well, because now it's just going to reset it. So, that is a shame. I am pretty dumb. I forgot that that was a thing, that I have to, uh, do it first. So, we've got the Zoroark out now. We will trade the Acer Roller. We are not going to get the cards that we just looked at, because I'm pretty dumb. And we got a Gazma, so we're just going to have to pass the turn. Alrighty, but I always love that Zoroark artwork, even though if Zoroark is overplayed at the moment. But that artwork's pretty cool too, that uh, the holographic uh, promo one. Alrighty, what is that? That is a Drapion. Fuck, that's a, that's a heavy amount of energy. Four energy for a hundred, paralyzed and poisoned. Hmm. What is that? That's Toxicroak. Uh, looks like this dude's just predominantly playing a poison deck. If this Pokemon is poisoned, this attack does 80 more, then remove that special condition from this Pokemon. What? Is it from Toxicroak, or is it this Pokemon? I don't get it. If this Pokemon is poisoned, this attack does 80 more damage, then remove that special condition from this Pokemon. I don't get it. So is it this one, or is it this one? I'm not too sure. But it'll only do... Uh, 10 damage because plus obviously we've got the status affliction which is fine so we will uh take this 10 damage hit because the, i mean we've got no other choice really we can fuck around here with guzma guzma is a lot of fun 
So we will uh, pass this turn because, oh, I forgot that they had the Viper. Okay, we will trade the Ultra Ball first, see if we don't get anything good with that. Otherwise, we'll have to trade a Guzma because we can't, there we go, that's good. That is really good. We will get this one set up. We will probably trade this Guzma here and then pass the turn over. Yeah, we got another Guzma, all right. We will pass out this and we will do a crossing cut GX. No, we, we won't. No, we won't. We're going to use first impression. I'm sorry. I hyped myself up there a bit, I guess. <laughs> but uh, we have got a cheap knockout done. We've got the Mallow for next turn. We can start setting up this third Zorua and we can get a, you know, a DC on this one here. Or since this is probably going to attack us, we can use the Guzma to bring out one of these things and you know get a cheap knockout there. We've also got the Coco we can put into uh, to put in as free retreat to bring just straight back in. Never mind, there goes an N. So we won't be getting that next turn. Uh, we are down to five cards since our prize card is at five, and this is that uh, Psycho bo Poison Boost. Sorry, not Psycho Boost. What the fuck am I thinking about? Alrighty, we have got the Floatstone, that is fine. We will look at the top three cards. Uh, we will get out, uh, yeah, that's that works fine with me, actually. We will get rid of one of these uh, here. We will get that um, DCE onto, uh, I guess we'll put it onto Galissapod, and we'll get that there. Um, hmm. I guess we'll just Cynthia. How many cards we have left? We have got 17 left. That's fine. There goes another Zoroark, which is great. Uh, I'm always happy to have another Zoroark on the bench. And no, we won't worry about looking for a supporter. And we will do Crossing Cut GX. Bring out one of these Zoroarks here because the 150 uh, for the poison won't happen, which is fine with me. Uh, so not the 150, so I meant the poison because the poison bar because we swapped it out with the uh, the cross and cut GX Alrighty, so this dude has sent out his crow gunk his feeble little child <laughs> um, Alrighty, he's probably going yeah, I was gonna say he'll start loading this up So I guess we can fuck around with the guzma, you know mess him up a bit. Oh, there goes an N So he's popping off ends left right and center Rip twit you dipstick that's an Australian term. I don't know if you guys have dipstick over in America. Switch your active Pokemon with your benched Pokemon. That is fine with me. We are going to bring out that Drapion. And here comes another first impression. We are going to drop it. There we are. Oh! Oh shit, I forgot it only does 120. I thought it did 130. Never mind. Probably should have done Armor Press. Or no, never mind. Uh, so that's fine because he only has um, that 120 anyway. Sorry, the uh, the one energy. So you can't do anything here. I made a very big mistake here. <laughs> oh, he just conceded anyway. So I guess that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much. Let's, let's check out. Uh, it's just a ticket. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.